I'm going to guide you step by step on how to use the ONDA web trading platform effectively. Whether you're a beginner or just looking for a refresher, this will help you get started quickly and confidently. So let's dive in. If you're brand new to this, the very first thing you'll need to do is create an account. I've included a link in the description below. Make sure to check it out because sometimes there are special offers or promotions you can take advantage of. Once you've signed up and verified your account, you'll be ready to start exploring ONDA's trading options. ONDA gives you flexibility. You can trade using their web platform, mobile app, or desktop version. But for today's video, we're going to focus specifically on the web platform. After setting up your account, head over to the OANDA website and log in using your credentials. Once you're in, you'll notice a clean and user-friendly dashboard. This is where you'll manage your trades, analyze charts, and keep track of your account balance. On the left-hand side, you'll find a variety of tools that help you stay informed and make better trading decisions. There's a technical analysis toolkit where you can access indicators like moving averages, Bollinger Bands, and MACD to analyze market trends. Below that, you'll see news feeds offering real-time updates on global financial markets. For example, you might come across breaking news about a central bank's interest rate decision that could impact the Forex market. There are also economic calendars highlighting upcoming events, like GDP reports or employment data, so you can plan trades around major market movers. You'll also find options to adjust your preferences. For instance, you can rearrange the layout or add widgets to make your workspace more efficient. If you prefer tracking only certain types of assets or indicators, you can hide the ones you don't need. The center of the screen is your trading hub, where you'll find access to all the available assets. These are organized into categories like favorites, indices, commodities, bonds, cryptocurrencies, and of course, forex pairs. Say you're interested in trading oil. Just navigate to the commodities section and you'll see instruments like WTI crude or Brent crude listed with their real-time prices. Similarly, if you want to trade cryptos like Bitcoin or Ethereum, Simply switch over to the cryptocurrency section and you'll have all the key data at your fingertips. What's great about the platform is that you can customize it to suit your needs. Let's say you want to monitor more advanced data. Just click the plus and you can add features like the order book. This shows you the buy and sell orders placed at different price levels. It's a handy tool for understanding market depth, position ratios, if you want to see how many traders are buying versus selling a particular instrument, this feature provides that insight. Currency heat map. This gives you a visual overview of how major currencies are performing against each other. For example, if the USD is strong across the board, the heat map will highlight this with clear color coding. By customizing these tools, you can create a trading environment that matches your strategy and workflow. Alright, let's get to the fun part. Placing a trade. This is where things start to get exciting. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of how it works. First, decide which asset you want to trade. Let's say you're interested in pound sterling to US dollar, one of the most popular forex pairs. Click on it and a trading window will pop up. You'll see the buy option on the right and the sell option on the left, with real-time prices displayed for each. If you prefer commodities, you could choose gold, XAU slash USD, or for stocks, maybe something like Tesla TSLA. The process is the same regardless of the asset. Next, choose the type of order you want to place. You've got three main options. Market order. Executes your trade immediately at the current price. Limit order. Executes only when the price reaches a level you specify. Stop order. Triggers a trade once the price moves past a certain point, often used to enter trades or protect against losses. For example, 
If you believe U.S. dollar to Japanese yen will drop to 145.00 before bouncing back up, you can set a limit order to buy at that exact price. Now it's time to fine-tune your trade. Here's what you need to set. Trade size. Decide how much you want to buy or sell. For example, if you're placing a market order to buy 1,500 units of euro to U.S. dollar, you'll see the current buy price displayed in real time. Stop loss. This is your safety net. Let's say you're trading gold, currently priced at $2,000 per ounce. To limit risk, you could set your stop loss at $1,990. If the price drops to this level, your trade will automatically close to protect your account. Take profit. This helps lock in your gains. Using the same example, you could set your take profit at $2,020, meaning your trade will close once gold reaches that price, securing your profit. If you want to take things to the next level, consider adding a trailing stop. This advanced tool automatically adjusts your stop loss as the market moves in your favor. For instance, if you're trading Apple APL stock and the price rises from $180 to $185, the trailing stop will move up along with it, locking in profits while still giving room for further gains. It's a great way to follow market trends without constantly watching your screen. Once you've set all your parameters, double check everything and hit submit. Boom! Your trade is now live. You will see it appear in the bottom right corner under the Open Trade section. From here, you can monitor its progress in real time. You will see details like entry price, profit slash loss, stop loss, and take profit levels. After your trade is placed, you're not done yet. You can make adjustments if needed. For example, if the market moves unexpectedly, you might decide to modify your stop loss or take profit levels. You can also close the trade early if you want to lock in profits or minimize losses. By following these steps, you'll be able to confidently place trades and manage them like a pro. Start small, practice with different order types, and experiment with tools like trailing stops to see what works best for you. Trading is all about finding your rhythm and the platform gives you the tools to make it happen. Made a mistake? No worries. Trading isn't always perfect, and the good news is you can easily edit your trades. Whether you need to adjust your risk levels, change your targets, or even modify pending orders, the platform makes it quick and straightforward. Here's how to fix things. Head over to your open trades or orders list. This is where all your active and pending trades are displayed. Let's say you've got an open position in US dollar to Canadian dollar. Simply click on it to bring up the details of that trade. Once you've selected the trade, you'll see options to edit important settings. Maybe you set your stop loss too tight and the trade is at risk of closing prematurely. For example, if you initially set the stop loss on pound sterling to US dollar at 1.2720, but now you want to give the trade more breathing room, you can adjust it to 1.2700 instead. If you see that the market has more momentum than you expected, you can move your take profit higher. For example, on a gold trade where your take profit was $2,020, you might adjust it up to $2,030 to capture more gains. If you're trading with pending orders, like a limit buy on Apple APL stock, you might want to extend or shorten the expiration time. Maybe the trade didn't trigger today, but you want it to stay open for another day or two. Just update the expiration settings. It's that simple. Once you've made your adjustments, Confirm the changes by clicking Save or Update. The platform will instantly apply the new parameters to your trade, and you can continue monitoring it in the Open Trade section. Editing trades isn't just about fixing mistakes. It's also about managing your trades proactively as the market evolves. For example, 
If your euro to Japanese yen trade starts moving strongly in your favor, you might tighten your stop loss to lock in profits while still letting the trade run. On the other hand, if news breaks that impacts oil prices and you're holding a position in WTI crude, you might decide to adjust your stop loss or close the trade early to avoid unexpected volatility. Being able to edit your trades is one of the most powerful tools you have as a trader. Markets can change quickly, and the ability to adapt your strategy, whether to protect yourself or maximize opportunities, can make a huge difference. Easy peasy, right? With just a few clicks, you can fine tune your trades, minimize mistakes, and stay in control of your positions. So don't stress if you need to make changes. Adjustments are part of the process, and the platform makes it simple to keep your trades aligned with your strategy. Now, let's talk about the charts, because let's face it, trading without visuals is like flying blind. Charts are essential for making informed decisions, and the good news is that the platform gives you plenty of ways to customize them for your needs. To start, you can select how you want your chart to appear. For example, you can choose candlesticks, which provide a clear view of price movements with open, high, low, and close prices for each period. If you prefer something simpler, you can switch to line charts, which only display the closing prices, making it easier to spot overall trends. For more granular details, you can use bar charts, which give a similar breakdown to candlesticks, but without the visual clarity. Next, you can enhance your charts by using a variety of drawing tools available on the left-hand side. Want to mark a trend? Just draw a trend line from one point to another. If you see a potential range-bound market, you can create a box around the area of consolidation. You can also sketch patterns, such as triangles or rectangles, to visualize breakout or breakdown points. For those using advanced strategies, you can go even further. For example, if you're an experienced trader who uses Fibonacci retracements to predict potential reversal levels, you can easily add this tool to your chart to analyze key levels in an uptrend or downtrend. If you're into Elliott Wave analysis, the Pitchfork tool can be a great way to mark potential support and resistance zones. If you want to compare two or more assets directly, the platform lets you overlay different symbols on the same chart. For instance, you can overlay pound sterling to US dollar with euro to US dollar to analyze how these two forex pairs move in relation to each other. This feature is especially useful when you're trading correlated assets or want to spot divergences. To further tailor your analysis, you can easily change the time frame of the chart. Whether you're scalping on the five minute chart or analyzing longer term trends with a weekly or monthly view, switching between time frames is a breeze. For example, you might look at a one hour chart to identify short term entry points, but then switch to a daily chart to confirm the broader market trend. With these charting tools at your disposal, you can visualize market movements spot patterns, and make more strategic decisions with ease. Whether you're a beginner just getting the hang of charting or an advanced trader using intricate technical strategies, this platform gives you everything you need to stay ahead of the game. When you're ready to check your funds or account activity, head to the top menu and click on Manage Funds. This is where you can get a detailed overview of your account's financial activity and monitor everything related to your balance and transactions. Here's what you'll find in this section. The first thing you'll see is your current balance. This shows the total amount of funds available in your account. Whether you've made recent deposits or withdrawals, this balance is always updated in real time. For instance, if you deposited $1,000 and have made a few trades, your balance will reflect any profits or losses from those trades, giving you a clear picture of your available funds. Next, you'll find a detailed transaction history. This section lists all your account activities, such as deposit and withdrawal amounts, 
as well as trading activity. For example, if you deposited $500 last week and withdrew $200 yesterday, you'll see both of these transactions here. This log is especially useful for tracking your trading expenses, profits, or any deposits that may not have been processed yet. It also helps with tax reporting, as you'll have a record of every transaction. Under the Deposits and Withdrawals section, you can view all recent funding and withdrawal activities. Here, you'll see details such as the payment method used credit card, bank transfer, or e-wallet, and the status of each transaction. If you're planning to fund your account, you can initiate a deposit from this section. For example, if you wish to add funds using PayPal, you can select that option and complete the process right from this page. Similarly, if you want to withdraw your funds to a bank account, you'll find the option to do that here too. By using the Manage Funds section, you can stay on top of your financial activity and make sure everything is running smoothly. This tool is a great way to track your profits, monitor deposits and withdrawals, and ensure your trading account is always up to date. So whether you're preparing for your next big trade or just checking the status of your funds, Manage Funds gives you all the financial details you need at a glance. This was just a quick introduction to get you started with OANDA's web trading platform. If you're brand new, I definitely recommend opening a demo account first. It's free, and it's the perfect way to practice before diving into live trading.